Good morning, guys. I have breakfast here this morning. I have an egg, two slices of bacon, a English muffin, which turns out to be five, six smart points with the cheese. Plus, I have some extra cheese here. It is my bacon cheese, which we got at the farmer's market, and I love, love, love that cheese. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That is also four points, so nine points for breakfast, plus a coffee for one. We're out walking three miles today. I didn't do a video yesterday because I was doing the yard all day long. So today I didn't do what I ate, but I'm going to be doing a little chat with you guys later. So we will see you guys later. Bye. Good evening, you guys. We just saw the cutest thing tonight on our walk. And of course, they were too far away to get the camera out really quickly and there's no way we could have got a great shot of it. We saw a mama deer with her baby deer, not one, but tw two different ones. And the baby deer were like Luna size. Oh my gosh, so cute. And they were so adorable. Oh my goodness. But we had a really good walk. We walked three miles tonight. We walked two miles and we came back because I just had drank a 32 ounce glass of water. So I knew I couldn't get way too far away from the house. So we, we went two miles and we came back and then we went another mile. So we did three miles total. It was about an hour and 10 minutes. We stopped and talked to one of the neighbors for a few minutes. So that's why it was an hour and 10. Usually we can get it done in an hour and four. But we stopped and visited their dog Max for a little bit. He's just a little little tiny dog he's luna size too but he came to greet us down the road so we carried him back home so we talked to them for a little bit yesterday i did not do a what i ate i didn't do a what i ate today either but today well i did a breakfast video today and then i got busy mondays and tuesdays are always a really busy day for me because i'm getting the house back in order after taking the whole weekend off from cleaning so it's really crazy on monday monday though i decided to spend the day outside Oh my gosh, I spent, it had to have been a good nine or 10 hours outside working in the lawn. I was using our push mower because our rider is broken. We have a huge lawn. I was trying to use the push mower up and down these hills that we have out in the lawn. And my legs were so sore the next day, so sore. And I did a lot of weed whacking, a lot of gardening. I got my garden in. And it was just a busy, busy day for me. And the next morning I woke up and I felt like I was going to have blisters all across my hands on either side, but I didn't. They're just really sore. So they're just real close to being blisters. So I spent the whole day outside and I ate things like that were easy sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, boiled eggs, um, premier protein, that sort of thing. But I didn't go over my points at all. I stuck to my points. I think maybe if I was over, I was over by like three and then today I didn't go over at all. And I had a breakfast sandwich, which I think I, sh I did film that and I showed you that. I had two cups of coffee today for two points. I had some smart cakes. I think I had two smart cakes. I had a premier protein. Plus I had a triple espresso with another premier protein. So that was four points there. And dinner today, guys, was so delicious. Oh my gosh, I just made a really fast dinner because I was folding clothes, I was doing laundry, I was doing all this stuff. And then Corey texted me saying he was 30 minutes out, like he always, he's, he texts me every day he, right before he comes, leaves work and tells me he's 30 minutes from home. So I can quick get dinner together and warmed up or whatever I have to do. So when he gets home, he can eat and then we can go out on our walk right away and we won't have to waste time while I'm, you know, he's waiting for me to cook or whatever. So I got that all thrown together really quick. And what I did, and I'm going to have this again tomorrow because it was so good. It was like a stir fry, a cabbage carrot stir fry with chicken. And I just like, okay, this is what I have. What am I going to do? So I threw a little sesame oil in the pan, one teaspoon worth threw a half an onion in that was chopped up. I threw some garlic and ginger in. I cut up my chicken and put chicken pieces in there. It was one breast for both of us. And then I added, I'm like, okay, I, I need veggies. So what am I gonna add here? So I threw in some shredded carrots cause that's what I had in, on hand right there. And then I threw in some cabbage slaw. You know, the little bags of cabbage slaw. I threw in like a half a bag of that over the top. I salted the whole thing. I put in a little bit of soy sauce, probably about two tablespoons worth, the low sodium soy sauce, and then I sprinkled a little bit of hoisin on top. That was it. 
and it was so delicious. Oh, and then at the end, I sprinkled a little because I had a little juice there at the end because I put a oh I put in a little um um uh, chicken broth just a little bit so it could boil and and cook the veggies a little faster. So I put in a little bit of that, maybe an eighth of a cup. I covered it and let it boil so it could get the veggies done. And then I took the cover off and let it boil to thicken up a little bit. And then I added a little bit of cornstarch over the top and stirred that all together to make it nice and juicy and thick. It was so delicious. It was so delicious. You didn't need any rice or anything. It was just that good by itself. Three smart points for both of us. So yeah, I couldn't couldn't ask for a better meal and it was fast, simple to make and I'm gonna do a cook with me tomorrow on it because we're gonna have it again tomorrow. My husband agreed we should have it again tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So we'll do, do a cook with me with that. I don't even know what I'll call it. Probably like a carrot slaw stir fry. I don't, chicken carrot slaw stir fry. We love stir fries. If you have not guessed, we love stir fries. I like making stir fries because they're low in points. And you can add whatever you have in the fridge that you have left over with that. You know, just throw everything in together, slap a cover over it, let it cook a little bit so they get a little soft and they're not real crunchy. And then that's it. You know, they're so simple to make. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. I can't wait because it was delicious tonight. And then what I, I had to tell you a little story that I had. Because of yesterday and when I woke up this morning... Was it this morning? Yes. When I woke up this morning, I was so sore. I'm like, man, oh man, am I ever sore. My whole arms, like all through here, under here, under this arm, both arms are just really sore. The backs of my thighs were really sore. My calves were sore. So I was pushing that lawnmower up and down hills all day for, you know, eight, nine hours off and on, doing the weed whacker, bending and stooping for gardening, pulling weeds like crazy. It was just insane. Oh, and moving all of a ton of logs that we have that I wanted back further out into the woods so we can kind of mow that lawn area. I was picking up big logs, throwing them out in the woods. So I got a lot of, I got a big workout in. I got like 22,000 steps yesterday. It was insane. And I got 25 flights of stairs just by working out in my yard. So that's how hilly our property is. So I was really sore this morning and I was thinking, man, I feel like I'm 325 pounds again because that's what I felt like at that time. And then I'm thinking, I made breakfast and made coffee and got everything together for Corey. Sat down like we always do and we talk a little bit before he leaves while he eats breakfast because I don't eat breakfast with him. I wait till nine o'clock to eat breakfast. And so we were talking and I'm like, I felt like I was huge again because I was so sore and I just was exhausted. I thought to myself, Wow, you know, I worked for nine, 10 hours out in the yard and was really sore, but yet I still wasn't as bad as when I was that big because you know what? When I was that big at 325 pounds and I got up to make breakfast, I had to sit down. I'd get like the bacon out, put it in the pan, sit down and rest a little bit while the bacon cooked. Get up quick to make some coffee and sit down for a little bit and then, you know, get up and do something else, put the thing in the toaster and sit down for a little bit. So it was, I was able to do all of that all while standing at one time yesterday. So yeah, I have come a long way. Even after working outside for nine to 10 hours, it made me realize that I never, ever, ever want to go back to being 325 pounds again. Not even the slightest little bit of chance that I will ever go back. I got a taste of this kind of life now. I feel like this is me now, like I'm getting back to my old self the way I used to be. I used to want to do all these things for Corey all the time, you know, make him breakfast in the morning and clean the house, make sure it's all clean for him and, you know, just have all this stuff done before he gets home from work because that's just me. That's the person I am. That's what I like to do. And being that size, I wasn't able to do all that. The house was mainly a mess all the time. I only did what I had to do minimal because I hurt so bad I couldn't get up and do it and I didn't ever want to go for a walk he, he you know if he ever wanted to have a, a work thing I didn't want to go I'd make every excuse in the book not to go like I was sick or you can take our daughter with you or she'd love to go with you you know because I didn't want to go I absolutely did not want to go I was just out of my realm I I didn't like myself at all so it was a huge wake-up call for me to make me really realize that I never, ever will go back there. 
not a, not a slightest chance in the world I will ever go back there. I will fight, fight myself to the end before I allow myself to go back there. This, you know, YouTube, Weight Watchers, it's all like saving my life right now. So I will never ever go back to that place. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that little tidbit of information that I discovered this morning. And I was so happy and I kind of smiled at myself and I thought, wow, this is really amazing that I can just do all this stuff after putting in all that work and being so sore. I didn't take any Advil till just a little bit ago because I, I wanted to get out on my three mile walk, but my legs were still hurting so bad. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take some Advil just to get through the walk. The walk was fine. You know, it was fine from the start. So the Advil really didn't even have a chance, a really good chance to kick in yet. I was totally fine. So it, it just, it made me realize that I've come a long, long way. And for those of you who were who are in the shoes that I were, was in in the past at 325 pounds or wherever you're at. If you're just starting out, just know it gets better. It does. It gets so, so, so much better. And every week that goes by, you will notice something better. So never give up. Always keep fighting. And just know that you will get there and you will feel 100% better. I promise you that. It's so worth it. It really is. So hang in there, you guys. You're worth it. You are definitely worth it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I am definitely doing a what I ate all day tomorrow. You will see that tomorrow night. But until then, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you think this may help anybody, please do share it. So we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. You and me, let's make a deal. Not everything we ever feel, we gotta keep it in the flow.